Hey guys, what's going on? So good to see you. You guys gonna park right behind us? Or in front of us? We're gonna go check in and then they're gonna have some more spots for us. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> Just checking in now here at Overland Expo, ready to play some music. It's gonna be so fun. We got Trevor and I. You guys good? All right, so we made it to our parking spot. Now we need to get picked up by a golf cart and they're gonna take us backstage so we can start setting everything up. We're supposed to play in one hour and we don't necessarily know where we're going yet. So it's gonna be very interesting. Emily. We brought all six of our fans. All of our fans are here. Woo! Okay, eight. This is how Emily feels about leaving Juno for three hours. The first time. No, I left her that long with you. Yeah, I'm daddy though. She doesn't care. I know. Guys, you're awesome. It's our, it's our actual human child. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Shane, he believed me when I said that. Dance, monkey, dance. And uh, hey everybody, say hi! Good morning here from Overland Expo here in Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're gonna explore. Uh, my goal right now is to find the Battleborn booth because we're gonna be um, doing a meet and greet there, so we need to find it. All right, this is by far the biggest outdoor event we've ever been a part of. And they just keep pouring in. Hey! Woo! Hey, that thing is awesome! Thanks, brother. <laughs> Great news, I'm in the vicinity. I'm in the, in the space I should be, so they should be around here somewhere. I found them! All right, so we found the Battleborn tent, and then we're gonna come back here and we're gonna just talk about what it's like to have Battleborn uh, batteries and how they keep us on the road full time and all that kind of stuff. So we're super excited. Let's do this. All right, Jeff, five dollars. Emily was hoping that they would have some kind of ice mochas or something, and looks like they do. Wish, I wish we could just keep Juno with us all day. But if we stand still for like 10 seconds, she freaks out on us. All right, let's do this. We're gonna head over to the Battleborn tent. Use this ship. I turned on a rock a little bit. I don't even know what we're doing. What are we doing today? We're just telling people why we love Battleborns and how it keeps us on the road full time. Woo! Wait, are we vlogging? We found Brian! We are now. Are we gonna vlog Inception? We found Shay! Hey! Oh, <laughs> your, your thing is way... Um, yeah, but I got like attractive wives in mind, so I win. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I have him. <laughs> hey, he's pretty attractive too, though. Uh, 
Okay. You made it, Emily. I'm getting coffee. I'm so happy you guys are here. Oh my gosh. Hi. I'm gonna get a sticker. Do you guys have oat milk? Yes. Oh. Ooh, I like this one. Great. Could I please get an ice? Woo -hoo. Oh, there's yours, Emmy. Emmy, stop eating your burrito. Oh, not a burrito. What is it? Okay. We made it. We did it. What do you think, Emily? Even better than I imagined. <laughs> so we're hanging out here at the Battle Barn booth with Living the Van Life. Uh, but this is his van, and it's beautiful, and it's amazing. Yeah, have you seen it, Emily? I haven't. No, I was talking to Eric. Aaron? Eric. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I hope he doesn't watch this. <laughs> this is like perfect for like not having kids or animals. <laughs> we, we, we don't have animals, so that's it's good. It's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's I can't believe people literally do this themselves. I know. I can't either. <laughs> look at all that storage. It's so clean. Holy wow, cow, look at them batteries. Six battle batteries. Yeah. Yeah, my whole, my whole goal with it because I do the whole YouTube production on the road, so it's oh, like yeah. I need this thing to be basically a production studio yeah. on the road, running the computer, charging all my cameras. I have a spot up front in the cabinetry that is dedicated to all the camera stuff with outlets that are all in there, so the camera is always plugged in and charging and drone and oh, all yeah. sorts of stuff. Just um, sucking the power away, but you yeah. don't have to worry about it. Uh, so drawers. these pull out so you got access to storage there and of course so nice both sides do that there this one over here is the outdoor kitchen oh wow. my gosh yes it pulls out from this it's pulling out there counter space i think you have more counter space than i do in my 40 foot bus <laughs> <laughs> that was that was the thing i was like okay when i was designing how do i maximize that so yep rather than these flipping up these pull up like so so, so cool it's oh my goodness it keeps going yeah Cholula. Yeah, so it's like <laughs> pantry, everything you need for cooking. It smells good. Oh, yeah. I judge like people seasoning. by their spice cabinet. <laughs> <laughs> so then this one, again, comes out. So there, so at that point, you've got more surface space to work yep. with. Um, under there's tools and everything you need on the road. And then wow. back there is all Dutch oven, cast iron. Wow. Everything I need for campfire cooking, which is a lot what I do on this channel. The, yeah. It's all stored there. That's so, awesome. You going to campfire cook for us tonight? I know. <laughs> that's why I keep telling everybody. I was like, man, I wish we could have a campfire out here. Just do that would be so awesome. I will say, though, I saw like five people have campfires. Yeah. They're probably going to get in trouble. I don't were know. Were they wood campfires or were they like propane? They, they were, oh, they could have been propane. Yeah, that's probably. what I was wondering. I saw somebody like propane. Probably yeah. propane. What yeah. kind of Dutch oven do you have? Uh, so I've got a. 10 inch lodge. Yeah, I have a, that's what I have. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Actually, it's actually my favorite one because it's, I'm usually solo on the road mm -hmm. and when I get to cooking in the 10 inch, I cook way too much food. Yeah, <laughs> I totally get that. Because it's like, oh, I need to fill it up, right? Yep. And it feels weird to cook a small amount of food in a big pot. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. This little oh, it's so cute! Stands for it. That's, what That's like this is literally perfect for like yeah. one meal. Yeah. We do lots of. I don't know how to see. Well, mine isn't actually. Mine is like a ceramic one. Mine isn't. Oh, okay. Mine, so. Yep. Yep. Yeah, this would be like totally campfire. Do you season it yourself? Uh, yeah. How yep. do you do that? So I use my parents' stove or oven, being oven, and so you gotta like. It's a whole process. It takes like half a day, I feel like. Really? But I've never done it before. <laughs> yeah, you like heat it up to a certain degree and then you like cover it with lard. Like um, you just buy lard from the grocery store. Yeah. It's like Crisco basically. Yeah. And so you just cover it basically how like it is oily and then you put it in the oven and bake it at like 500 degrees for like an hour Forever. or something. Like. And you do that, you repeat that process like three or four times. No that's, way. That's what I watched on YouTube and I tried it. And, YouTube University. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. it. Yeah. And we got like axes and stuff. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, that what you it... use to chop your vegetables? Just like, yeah. <laughs> 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 so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, so easy access with the stuff, the saw, hatchets. That's incredible. So our bus, the way that it is, is if I want anything underneath the bed storage, I have to climb under there and get it myself. But yours literally pulls out, and yeah. so you don't have to do any of that and destroy your back like I do. 100%, yeah, I mean, it's a big space back here. You can store a lot of stuff, but it was well worth the investment into the slides because just being able to organize the stuff. You know, I'll stack camera gear up in here and I can access it, you know. Wow. Here, so it makes it super easy to, to work with. So amazing. So, that's, so that's smart. That's the thing about living in a small space. You got to figure out A, how to stay organized and how to, and then B, how to make life easier. Yep. You know? And you're doing it. So far, it's worked out. Find your way. So I'm here with Tyler. Yep, Tyler. Yes. Hi. With Battleborn, and so we're hanging out. Uh, and so now, <laughs> now we're gonna look for the washroom together because that's what best friends do. <laughs> this is the guy who came up with the name Battleborn. How you doing? I'm Sean. I'm Battleborn Batteries. <laughs> <laughs> so where, where did the name Battleborn come from? Oh, it's well named after the state of Nevada. The slogan of the state of Nevada is a Battleborn state. I did so not we know joined that. the Union during the Civil War to help Lincoln get reelected to end the war, and that's uh, why they called the Battleborn state. Amazing. History. Brilliant. Battleborn batteries. I should have known that. I so they're patriotic, concerned. not just... So if you buy a Battleborn battery, you're America. saying, I love America, <laughs> really, is what you're saying. Yeah, you are saying. Which is... So they'll get, you know, list of hundred thousand hours. Okay. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Okay, we're coming. If this isn't Overland Expo, I don't know what it is. I'm just going to leave my phone in there. Trevor, you just look. Almost as cool as Gregory Allen Eisenhower. Food time. This place is awesome. I love your home. I love my home too. <laughs> I love your music. Oh. No, come on in. All right. Ah. Whoa. Welcome home. This thing. Is amazing. Yep, those are the kids' beds. This wow. is Macho. Good macho was sumo. Sumo. Oh, so the kids don't like Macho, so they call it Sumo instead. That's amazing. <laughs> and then you have like, like a little seating area. Yeah. Does we something happen with this, or is it always like a bed like that? It's always a bed. Um, we wanted kids' beds. We wanted something simple. We actually gave the kids the option because they wanted. A bed that they could share and sit up, or yeah. if they wanted their own bunks, their own space, but maybe not be able to sit up all the way. Right. They both chose, they wanted their own space, so this is what we ended up with. This is beautiful. And you obviously have a channel. Yes, uh, What's it so called? we're at Overland Uncharted. You can Overland find us on Uncharted. Instagram. We film the whole build process. We have a YouTube channel. You can go check it out there. That should be coming out really soon. We're Brilliant. editing it all right now. Yay! Yeah. I can't wait to check it all out and watch every single video. Ah. Yeah. Right? These little things are my favorite. It's the little things in life. This is the way that I wish our schoolie was decorated. Like, where we oh, have yeah. things like this. Your schoolie is like amazing. Aw, thanks. You talk about homey. I don't think there's anything that gets more homey than your schoolie. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Well, I, I love like, like, even like these small things. Like you have that so, everything is so organized. <laughs> For now. And it's so like, what what is this? Like. What? <laughs> it's amazing. I love it. I it. Well, thanks for letting me see your home. Absolutely. Yes, this is what we're missing. Honey, I'm home. Being at something called Overland Expo is making me very self-conscious about the size of these tires on this stroller. <laughs> Goodbye, friends. Bye, Kuda. We'll see you later this summer.
See you soon. Hi! Wow! I've been running around here, handing out Battleborn koozies to everybody that's passing through. So fun. I probably met 10,000 people today at least. Just handing out koozies. There's many raffle tickets. There's not a chance in the world. So make sure if you have digital tickets, you go to the foundation. What a great day this has been so far. Just hanging out, meeting people, unicycling. And as I'm unicycling through, I heard something I haven't heard ever. Some guy yelled at me and said, do a wheelie. Which actually made me laugh out loud because no one has ever uh, said that one before. So, love it. Yeah. Alright, we are waking up here at Overland Expo. This is our last day here. Today is Saturday. We have a house show tonight, um, so we can't stay for the whole weekend. Uh, we're going to be hanging out at the Battleborn booth again one more time before we head out to the house show we have tonight. So I was just walking around and I met the most amazing lady on the entire planet who showed me this rig that she actually makes, her and her family, and they sell these things. So what's the name of this company? Colorado Backcountry Trailers. Beautiful. Um, but this is amazing. It all comes down in this tiny little box and you can pull it behind your truck, your RV, your school bus, like me. <laughs> this is so cool. I love it. I love it. We're uh, Colorado made. Colorado made. So you know it's good. 